so um, hello everyone first of all uh, thank you for joining um, today's today's topic uh, electron plus angular table tennis counter so um, I'm I'm the .NET developer, so I'm not lost uh, in the web community world. So probably uh, I hope that uh, current topic will be interesting for you. So you will find something new, something interesting. So and um, it will be most focused on um, my experience, my semi-production experience for uh, with Electron plus Angular um, by. Um, in real condition, so I would say. Um, so let's probably start. Uh, as usually, let's start from the agenda. I will give small introduction. Um, what was the starting point uh, for this project? Uh, I would I would say uh, ad hoc project. Um, then next, um, it's problem statement. I will. I will tell you what was the requirements for that and um, other stuff uh, regarding the uh, problem statement. Um, the next, I will tell you what is Electron JS if, if someone doesn't know or just forgot. Um, and uh, then I'll try to explain why I, I've selected Electron JS as my desktop framework. Um, the next, um, I will I will speak briefly. Uh, I, I will um, tell how Electron works uh, in a nutshell. Um, so we can it 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 won't be real. Um, it won't be I would say deep dive. Uh, but anyway, uh, in a nutshell, I will tell you the some information about Electron JS. Then I'll um, I'll show the current solution. Um, probably uh, surf a uh, code a bit. Um, so uh, then I'll ex explain what was the, the most challenge to, to me, what was, um, why uh, basically um, I've, I've chosen uh, this, um, uh, uh, I would say pro project project setup and electro electron in general. And also SM, um, I will tell what was what will be the next steps and uh, what uh, what will be my ambitious plan for for this project and um, how it will be developed in in future. Yeah, so um, moving on, um, the the quick introduction. Several some time ago, I was asked to uh, to help some Ukrainian uh, company that organizing. Um, table tennis uh, tournaments, um, some events, and I will be. Um, I was responsible for building some application um, to generate image. That image will be generated in real time and uh, stored on the file system. Um, so it's just a regular table count, uh, as we as we can see on the football match at the left upper uh, corner. Uh, but it's uh, table tennis specific stuff. Um, so let's probably moving on. Um, as I said, um, uh, the main, uh, the crucial things here that um, as a, a result of my um, application should be um, stored on the file system and um, uh, result should be the uh, be the image. And um, as you can see on the image, it's just example how it will look like at, by that moment. Um, so I I um, I haven't um, cared about some data is provided because um, all of all of data um, was provided by some scouts. It's it, it's it's humans, um, but anyway uh, they are um, they are. Um, um, digitize uh, the table count to the our digital world so um, so the data is provided so i don't care about any stuff and it was provided uh, from web api and plus web sockets web api is, um, is basically for retrieving some historical data for example was it timeout or just uh, player uh, got some uh, yellow uh, or just red cards, etc. And WebSockets um, um, 
just um, I give the fresh data and every time I've just regenerated this image and uh, was storing it on the local system. Yeah, so, um, and the, uh, third, uh, the third point, um, the third party tool could embed the image into online video stream. Th this is something that I also, I didn't care about that because um, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my task was just to generate this image and place in a local, uh, local storage and some third party tool will take this image and embed into uh, video, uh, online video stream. Um, some broadcast tools, uh, and I, I don't even know the name of, of them. Let's move on. Mm. There are a um, couple of, um, I would say, UI requirements. First of all, um, generated image should contain um, all necessary information about match. It's um, current score in the match, player names, uniform colors, uh, current pitch score, and some uh, some areas for yellow and uh, red cards. Um, uh, moreover, um, uniform column should be uh, set by administrator. Administrator is just um, it's uh, a man um, who is basically setting um, the initial stuff uh, from the admin panel. Um, so in general and preferable uh, that administrator could be uh, could be set uniform color in a runtime without any reloading and etc. Um, moving on. Also, one of them. Um, I would say great requirements, uh, but it's not really uh, doable by that moment. Was uh, different skins could be specified by administrator. Um, administrator is just um, uh, people who, who are not familiar with some technical stuff. And um, by that requirement, I will just uh, create some application um, technology uh, application stack for, for doing this. So um, uh, the initial idea was uh, just to um, store all the configuration in just YAML or just JSON file um, with specifying some position of elements, some paths to elements, to images, to make some application as we do in uh, CSS, for example. But uh, it was neglected neglect down the road because it was not really um, um, it was um, it was uh, not really needed I would say and uh, we had some performance issue because uh, you know uh, everything that is static is uh, more performant than for example dynamic so that's why we just uh, hard coded all styles in our web UI part. Um, yeah, for positioning, I have already uh, talked. So, um, and also several instance of application could be open on single desktop. So, uh, for example, administrator will be able um, to create several, uh, to run several instances of this application. Uh, for example, to monitor several table tennis uh, matches and uh, image result shouldn't be overrided. So, and we, we have to select different uh, passes for that. Um, yep, so um, a quick, um, what is electron? What is the term probably um, who might um, doesn't know. So just reminder, it's just a run, a runtime framework that allows the user to create desktop application that is based mostly on, not mostly that based on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, first of all, it's really convenient. Uh, it's really hype. So, and it's cross-platform um, uh, framework for, for doing this top application. Um, and the slide, the next slide basically highlights this, that most popular framework to desktop. So, and I've partially tried uh, get on this train um, just to to use it, um, see how it how it looks. Um, so and etc. Um, moving on, uh, what was the option that I've considered? So um, 
first of all, I'm .NET developer, so I'm just trying to look in, uh, into .NET solution that we have, WinForms and uh, WPF. Uh, first of all, they're not really flexible. They are relatively old. Um, they, I have some concern uh, again about performance. I didn't know how we can uh, generate image uh, from some data real quickly. Um, and also, um, it was, um, it will, uh, it would be some difficulties to probably uh, to create some UI UX admin panel for that, uh, because uh, all of us are uh, web developers and it's really convenient to use something web specific in that case. And at the same time, we are able to, to uh, access some uh, operating sy system capabilities, for example, storing some uh, files on the file system and, and etc. The second option that I've looked, looked into is, I'm sorry, um, it's protonative. Um, um, first of all, it's a native tools and all native tools um, uh, are not really wide. Um, so uh, the syntax is really similar to React Native. By that moment, I, I, I was not uh, really familiar with uh, React in general. And um, they, they basically great. Uh, it take, uh, takes less, uh, less space comparing to Electron or something that is using uh, Chromium under the hood. And I also um, didn't, uh, didn't choose this, this option. Um, there are two uh, really common, really similar uh, frameworks for, for doing uh, desktop over web. It's and um, and WGS. Um, the old old name is not WebKit, and Electron. Um, they are really similar under the hood. Uh, the uh, Chromium is under the hood. Um, both of these frameworks and also Node.js is uh, is accessing is helping to access all the um, uh, operating system capabilities. But at the same time, um, and uh, NW provides um, higher uh, level uh, API accessing. So I was confused by that moment, I, and I didn't know it will be possible to, uh, to for example, store file or uh, to use some something some some any capabilities for for doing that. So and moreover. Um, Electron uh, has really great uh, community, um, and uh, there is top six um, application that is written on Electron, uh, VS Code, Skype, Discord, Spotify, Atom, Slack. So I was probably wondering it <laughs> and just uh, just decided to um, to select the Electron. Um, so and uh, probably um, reasons I already highlighted before that it has great community. It's um, it's really um, great start, uh, quick start um, for doing some project and uh, also um, probably it's a, it, it is something new that I I've never met before and I was interested in that. Um, Moving on, so yeah, uh, I've chosen Electron. Uh, let's let's talk about how Electron works um, under the hood a bit. Um, there are two main uh, layers uh, in Electron uh, application. It's um, render process and main process. Of course, the main process called main process. Um, um, so um, it's the wrapper on the node Node.js, and as I said before, Node.js is, is uh, provides us uh, ability uh, to access operating system. Um, rendering process um, uh, inside um, every rendering process is placed Chromium, um, and um, um, be uh, communication between uh, render process and main process is. Um, they're talking uh, using IPC, uh, inter-process communication, if, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, some kind of 
um, way uh, to exchange data between uh, several processes. Um, so yes, it's in a nutshell. Um, yeah, if if we do comparison between main process and render process, so we would we would say that main process is it's a browser itself, and render process it's a tab inside this browser. So uh, main process, uh, as I said before, is responsible for communicating to native operating system IPs, APIs, uh, res for responding to application lifecycle events like, like uh, starting, uh, quitting, and, and et cetera. And also uh, it's responsible for creating render process. It's a main, it's a parent, so, and render process is just our user interface. interface. Um, yeah, so um, let's let's probably moving on. There is a um, um, small cut, cut snippet um, how we can communi communicate between main and renderer process. Um, so basically renderer process is just uh, IPC renderer just sends uh, asynchronous messages uh, to the main process. Yeah, here and just uh, main process is subscribing on on this message. And by the way, under the hood, IPC main it's event emitter, um, uh, as well as browser create. Uh, about browser creation, I will tell a bit later. Um, yeah. So and in this way, um, uh, via IPC we can communicate be between those uh, processes as well. Um, okay, so and uh, there is a recommendation that all heavy operation we should place uh, inside renderer process between uh, because um, main uh, main processes um, when when it when it's glitching glitching or just um, failing on or we, and all the render renderer process will be filed uh, too. Um, yeah, so. That's that pretty much pretty much it. So let's probably uh, see how solution looks. Uh, so it just um, screenshots um, how it looks. That uh, sorry for the um, uh, it's not localized yet. So uh, on the first screen we can select the category of of game, and the second we can uh, select appropriate match. Mm, and uh, the third one is just for um, some settings. We can uh, specify uh, current profile for uh, gen uh, for image generation, I would say, and also see where uh, result will be placed. Uh, moreover, we can um, select um, uniform colors, as as I mentioned in requirement section. And in runtime, yep. So, and uh, after all this manipulation, we can get uh, the result, um, HTML result under this window. It just for um, probably for administrator, for administrator convenience, um, just to see how it looks. Um, we don't need to um, to go to this pass informal PNG and uh, see how. Uh, it, um, image looks like. Mm, okay, so um, go ahead. So, and also there is some specific requirements from the customer that um, that says that if internet connection is unstable or just off or some, some disaster happens, uh, we are uh, opening some dialogue, dialogue box uh, with some retrying to reconnect. Uh, so that's um, yeah. And by the way, uh, current uh, current solution is successfully working on production. Uh, so here uh, there is no active match yet, but anyway, we can see that um, counter at the left corner is successfully uh, working. So I I didn't even know by that moment that. It will be on production. I just decided that will be ad hoc uh, solution to for doing something. Mm, okay, so um, I will show probably quick demo um, 
probably will will serve the code a bit. Um, let's probably start from the main entry point. Um, it's main main TS. Uh, I'm sorry, not not this one. Just um, upper. Um, uh, so uh, the entry point, uh, as I said, is main main TS file, and um, inside that there are a couple um, crucial uh, things here. First of all, it's um, browser window creation that we can um, just specify any um, types of parameters. We can basically see how it looks. Um, it's responsible for creating windows, uh, for setting cap uh, capacity, for setting some uh, frames. Uh, let's let's see width, high. Uh, so all all of the stuff that is related to um, uh, for window, we can make it closable. We can also um, so we can customize it as as we as we need. Um, after um, main create window was uh, was processed, uh, we are loading the assets. Um, as you as you can see, there is um, some path name to index.html, so it, it doesn't matter uh, how it uh, how it uh, was built. Um, just using React, Angular, etc. Et any uh, framework for doing that. We are just passing the um, asset for that. Um, yeah. So and also in uh, main TS we can we can basically subscribe on uh, main window events. For example, closed, ready, activate, and also we can specify some uh, platform specific uh, subscription. For example, as as it was for macOS. Um that's that's pretty much it uh, regarding um main TS. let's probably run our application. And also we can uh, as you can see the current um, code is commented, it just creates uh, shows uh, the developer tools in our desktop application. It's really convenient to debug it. Um, so Let's probably stop and run this uncommented. It could take a while. Yeah, so moreover, as I said before, we have some set of profile scenes. Um, here we just specify skin names, background that is visible, some uh, size for for our generated image, and also uh, some static image file like ball that is indicates uh, what what is the pitch um, who will be responsible for uh, for that. Yeah, it's, it seems running. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, let's probably make it a bit smaller. Um, yeah, we, we have to specify the category, the match. After selecting, we can see that um, our informer image is generated. And also the profile we can specify for that and also colors uh, for uniform and etc. Um, yeah, and also an active pitch is player two right now. Um, as I said before, it's really convenient um, to debug if we um, are using developer tools. Um, moreover, um, with Electron GS, we can store some data in local storage or some um, some story that is specific for browser, you know. Uh, so, uh, for example, if you have some um, temporary data, you can uh, store it 
uh, easily on the local storage. Um, but of course, if you have uh, a, a lot of um, a big set of data, yeah, so you are you, you could use uh, the uh, database. Mm, okay, so um, speaking about um, um, the uh, developer tools, so I, I will I've also added logs. Um, so um, uh, by using the Angular capabilities that uh, so and also logs we can find just a second not this one by default is uh, the all logs is stored uh, just a second mm -hmm. I'll try to find it but it's duplicated also um, in uh, developer tools but it, it also copy it into a file storage in system. Um, unfortunately, I forgot where it's placed. Uh, okay, doesn't matter. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, so what, what else we can find here? Uh, first of all, um, I would just um, uh, we can measure how, uh, for example, uh, image generated, um, how much um, it will take. Um, usually I just uh, did it using the timestamp comparison without any monitoring stuff and etc. cetera. Um, let's probably uh, see a bit on uh, code base. Um, the application itself really simple and straightforward. There are just uh, two main components, just home and informer. It, informer is um, our generated image, but uh, in HTML style. Um, and components and home, I, I'm sorry, uh, is responsible for, for doing this logic with web sockets, check it connection, etc., etc. We can we can look into that. Um, on ng, um, a G on init uh, clause, we can uh, uh, we, we are performing some checking. First of all, we are checking that network connection is um, available. In general, reading settings, uh, login to um, to the uh, web API and connecting to the web sockets and getting all categories from the web, uh, web API. Um, okay, so um, let's probably uh, see how um, services look. Um, there are just uh, for services and um, authentication service that is basically um, authenticate um, um, to use uh, um, web API and um, just log, log in, log out, uh, nothing interesting. Um, logger, um, logger service, um, um, we are, uh, the main entry point in, uh, in logger service is uh, electron log uh, package. So first of all, we need to retrieve it and uh, just to expose and use it in our components. It's also uh, relatively straightforward. And uh, scouting service, um, it just contains some um, prod operation, forget it, categories, match, and, and history. And web sockets, um, it, it also was a bit challenge for me um, because um, I was not really familiar, 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 I'm sorry, <laughs> familiar. <laughs> something something wrong with my voice um so okay so we can um i didn't know how to create observable observable from the um from the regular promises and etc so it was really something new um so uh, moving back to our presentation uh stuff Mm, okay, uh, speaking about latency, um, as I mentioned before, we had, um, I had some uh, non-functional requirements that image should be generated 
up to one second. Um, and as, as we can see, um, uh, we, we feel these requirements. Uh, so it, if we compare these timestamps, it's around uh, 700 milliseconds, I guess. Um, at the same time, um, I've just tried a lot of um, image generation uh, libraries. I've just tried a thousand, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, all of them were generated uh, more than uh, one second. And for um, and if I'm not mistaken, the just regular HTML to image. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a second, HTML. Yeah, HTML to image NPM package helped me to 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 fit all of the requ requirements regarding uh, image generation. Okay, so um, speaking about the next challenge that I faced with, uh, it's WebSocket connection leak. Um, so um, sometimes ago we've just uh, got uh, performance issues. So um, customers complained that uh, server, uh, that some connection uh, is uh, persistent and is not closed. And, um, and um, the reason it, it was really um, obvious and um, I would say banal. Um, I just forgot to close the uh, WebSocket connection, and I've just, uh, I would say, um, the the load on uh, WebSocket server will, uh, was really high. Um, and the main, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, challenge for me it was uh, um, Web UI in general. Um, everything uh, it was new for me, uh, except probably Angular. I I had some experience with, with that, um, but as you can see, the to build Electron JS to build some application, a desktop application based on um, UI, um, UI uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is really really simple and uh, doable and achievable, and um, even even the net uh, developer could could perform that. Um, what was um, the next step and evolution? So um, there were a couple of version of uh, our informer of our table tennis counter. The first, um, it was, I guess, it was not really um, ugly than second one, uh, but current version uh, is placed uh, in the bottom that is using right now on production um, as you as you saw before. Um, and also um, there are a couple of, um, I would say, um, um, ambitious idea to first of all, to uh, rewrite it to React. So I, I have some assumption that, that uh, after that, uh, the performance uh, will be um, higher, at least um, for um, probably 20%. Per percent. Um, also, I did some work regarding CI/CD. I want to, to polish that. Um, so it's just building uh, without any uh, publishing artifacts, uh, etc. By the way, it's, it's hosted on GitLab. And um, if you are interested in, I, I can share with you. Um, uh, I don't have any compliance with, with my customer that I won't be able to uh, to share this code. So if you're interested, please ask me, I'll just write it. Um, and also and the, the last one is uh, testing part. Um, so I, I want to, to test it at least to, to add some unit test because every time when I, um, for example, create new uh, new view for uh, our informer, I need to, to retest it once again, again and, and again. So, uh, and uh, after all, um, I would say recreation uh, of, of UI, uh, almost everything uh, we found finds uh, some bugs, um, some leaks and et cetera, et cetera. 
uh, so we will probably cover it um, in general. Um, great. So uh, basically, that's it. It, it was uh, relatively quick. Uh, so probably, guys, you have um, any question. Uh, please uh, don't don't judge me if I uh, showed some uh, ugly code. I'm just uh, new in this uh, stuff. Uh, so if you do have any question, please ask me. I